This video is brought to you by Lime Energy. Granddaddy came down and said that uh, they were going to build a new highway through and he had talked to surveyors. He died before it ever happened, but uh, soon after he died they started building. Clearing trees, and, uh, bulldozers came in. One day one of the bulldozer drivers, uh, I was watching him every afternoon after school. He one time invited me to come up and he let me run the thing just a few minutes. Then we watched traffic come through. Sunday afternoon is real interesting. A lot of people driving back from the beach. Um, trailers and motorboats and stuff behind them. In the summer, a lot of convoys driving down to Fort Bragg. And around. Grandma called them the war trucks. See all those war trucks today. You saw the fast lane. You saw the what was happening out there. It made you wonder. Could lie there in bed, listen to the radio, and uh, watch the traffic, people coming in and out all night. I grew up one block from Independence Boulevard. It was noisy. The house rumbled 24 hours of the day and night. Whenever we'd go out of town and stay somewhere where there was not a highway, we had trouble sleeping because it was so quiet. <laughs> My brothers and sister and I, we all the neighborhood kids, we had to cross Independence to go to Elizabeth School. Our parents would take turns walking us up to the corner. They'd cross us over. And then when school was over, we'd have to wait for them to take us back on the side of Independence. One time I had to stay after school. I must have been naughty, which wasn't unusual. And I uh, had to walk back by myself and there was no parent, no mother to cross me. This huge 18-wheeler stopped. <laughs> and the driver came out and when he asked me what was wrong, I said, there's no one to cross me over. He crossed me over and then he got back in his truck and left. Yeah, we're gonna get four Super Boys, please. Do you want cheese on them, sir? Uh, yeah, with cheese. I had some good memories here, you know what I mean? Uh, the man that I really actually started me off at this place, his name was Sam Coffsey. He was a good man, you know what I mean? He helped me when I first got married. He helped me get a house, helped me with my kids was going to school. So I'm pretty well known from this place here, you know what I mean? Some people I don't know, you know what I mean? They say, hey, you work at South 21, don't you? you know what I mean? They used to wait up my mom and my dad and all that. Day. Now they got kids, you know what I mean? They just keep on, keep on coming. Been good, a good 57 years, you know what I mean? I started off to college in 59, and uh, but my parents lived there for years after that. Uh, and my aunts and uncles, it was all family up and down the road. 
but they all eventually sold out. Behind, we used to have creeks and all. It's back in old farmland, and that's been all developed now. It's, can't even find your way around there. Had a great childhood, but don't care to go back. I'd like to see it like it was. But. I have often thought that Independence Boulevard seemed very appropriate for me. It sort of, I did find Independence. <laughs>